Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Carly and today I am bringing you guys something very, very different from my channel. In this let's play, I am going completely vanilla with my gameplay, guys. I have disabled mods in CC. Yep, I said it. I've disabled mods in CC. This is a first for me. I haven't done this since the very first time I even tried playing Sims and I didn't know what mods were. As you can see here, enable custom content and mods. No script mods allowed. No. I'm super excited for this, guys. I love the idea of just kind of maximizing the in-game content. All the expansion packs that I paid for actually using the content provided um, because it was a lot of money. And another thing, I have no reshade. I really wanted to play this with reshade. I was like, okay, I'm gonna go vanilla, but can I at least use some reshade? But no, I'm gonna commit. I'm gonna go all in. The only thing I will say is I do still have the sun blind mod in my game, which is like a lighting overhaul. It doesn't actually go in your mods folder. So I didn't wanna take out all my sun blind lighting overrides and then replace it with the default in-game lighting because that's just like a whole other thing. And I just don't wanna mess anything up with that. So I do have the sun blind lighting mod by Softer Haze. Another thing I wanna mention for this save file, it's a new save file, new family. I literally just made this sim and decorated her house now, but this is the Winbrook save file it's just a very realistic save file i said if i'm going vanilla i definitely have to use a save file like i'm not going to use a default save file you can see the houses look how realistic they look i wish it was snowing right now our girl right now is sleeping we are starting completely blank like i just made a new sim i have no story for her whatsoever i've set her aspiration as a friend of the world but I don't know if I'm gonna keep that. So I don't really have any plans for this video right now or this let's play. Like I literally wanna start fresh and just see how I can enjoy the game. She knows no one guys. She knows no one, she has no job. We're all gonna do that together. But it's currently 3.50 AM. Our Sim is sleeping right now. This is the house that came in the Winbrook save file. So we are currently living in Ucrest. The layout of the house is exactly as it came. I left the blue wallpaper because the house was empty. So the only thing I changed in the foundation of the house was the kitchen counters so i just swapped out the kitchen counters i think they're the country living kitchen counters and i added a kitchen island and with the bathroom the only thing i changed with the layout was i put the toilet on that side because i added in the laundry machine and dryer and yeah that is what our house looks like i'm really happy with how it turned out honestly there is a basement but we're not touching that it looks so creepy but she will definitely use that like i'm sure when i had lighting and i furnish it up a bit add some wallpaper or whatnot like i'm sure it'll look good but for now we're just gonna leave this as it is it looks like she could kidnap someone and tie them up to one of these poles it literally looks like like a scary movie basement so we're not gonna touch that for now but it is 6 a.m so she should be getting up soon and look at the plum bob guys i missed the plum bob oh wait i should introduce you to our girl so maybe we'll head over to Cass. oh my gosh her hair her leg hair she wasn't ready for this okay, so this is maria chavez this is what she looks like i did my best to make my sim without cc i was so worried about that but honestly i'm not mad i'm not mad i've been wanting to use this for rent hairstyle because i actually really like this for rent hairstyle but there are not much max's hairs that i like i'll tell you that and lipstick oh and makeup she is a minimal girl she doesn't go heavy with the makeup and the real reason is because it's just more convenient for me because i do not like the game makeup it's too much this is what she looks like this is her everyday outfit i did give her more of a wintry outfit because it is going to be starting in winter which is so different for me i don't think i ever start a let's play in winter so her current aspiration is friend of the world the sim wants to make and keep as many friends as they can i wasn't sure what she wanted to do because i don't really know her yet like we're gonna be getting to know her and discovering what she likes and dislikes so her traits are kind of grayed out right now but they're perfectionist <laughs> neat and non-committal so she's only interested right now in getting a job and she wants to date around for sure she wants to meet people like i said but she's not ready to settle down anytime soon but who knows so yeah she's neat and she's a perfectionist and i feel like you can tell from her house um so this is her everyday outfit and this is her formal outfit i don't know what dress this is but it looks really good this is her exercise outfit nice and simple her sleeping outfit yeah she definitely needs some color in her life guys this is her party outfit i don't know she gives me like corporate girl vibes in this outfit for some reason 
and her swim outfit i love this one i can't believe i'm doing this whole show through with her hairy ass legs and her summer outfit you know like not that i'm shaming her oh you know what it makes sense it's winter that's why she has hairy legs guys because she's like no one's gonna see my legs in my winter outfits and then this is her other winter outfit it's now morning and look how beautiful the neighborhood is i just can't get over it i don't know how much of this is in-game versus sunblind light mod but if you guys can install that mod please do because even without reshade it's still so beautiful i had to show you guys but let's get into her day and just see where it takes us so looking at her needs right now she needs to go to the toilet so we're going to use that and we'll get her to start making breakfast as well um yeah i'm really excited to see oh voting is now open i'm really excited to see where her story takes us and how she develops in her personality and character but let's look at her whims right now so she wants to start a new relationship from being non-committal it feels so right to start something new commit to another same i'm gonna pin that but i don't understand that earbuds have been added to our inventory okay that's like the rite of passage in a new save file anyways I, I just don't understand. So she's non-committal, so she wants to commit? Is she trying to say that she doesn't want to be non-committal? Is she trying to tell me like, why did you pick this trait for me? I don't want to be non-committal. Like, I want to settle down and have a family. Is that what she's trying to tell me? Or is this her being like, maybe this is part of her non-committal trait. Like, she bounces from relationship to relationship. I don't know. But we'll try to take that whim off and see who we meet. And she wants to make something of excellent quality, which I'll pin as well. And that's from being a perfectionist sim. Oh, wait, girl, let's brush your teeth. We'll brush her teeth and then we'll go and make her breakfast for the day. And while we're here as well, you guys tell me, do you prefer to brush your teeth before you eat breakfast or after you eat breakfast? I have done both in my life, but now I personally prefer to brush my teeth before breakfast. Um, but you know, I know people have very different opinions on that. So let me know what you guys think. Let's make a single serving of some eggs and toast. And just have her come in and do that. So we're starting off on 23,000 simoleons. And that is because I started her off on 50,000 to decorate her house. Because I wanted her to start off with a house. I know I probably should have just started off a more bare house. And she like works her way to furnish it. But I also really just wanted to see already how I could furnish a house. And try to make it look nice. Just using Max's content. So I already kind of wanted to test that out. And I feel like she's already had a life for herself. So maybe she had a previous job where she's earned a lot of money but she's just having a fresh start here in Newcrest in Windbrook you know she's a perfectionist and needs sim I feel like she's also kind of ambitious and an overachiever so I feel like she would have that stuff organized you know she wouldn't have furnished her house and not have that much savings left over so yeah a girl is prepared and she's smart she's financially smart I feel like but yeah let's eat your breakfast oh build these surroundings girl we just started what do you mean I don't know what she's talking about, but we should have a coffee with her breakfast. Let's boil the kettle. And I quickly just changed my season length to 28 days because I want to enjoy this winter season a bit more since I haven't really done that much in my other videos. And I just feel like winter is a vibe for this Windbrook save file as well. So if we look at our calendar here, you can see that Winterfest is already next week. It's next Wednesday. And then we have New Year's Eve the week after on the Saturday. So that's very exciting. Hopefully we have some friends to spend Winterfest and New Year's Eve with by then. We'll see how we go. I think that's going to be our biggest priority. For now, I'm not going to stress out about getting her a job. She clearly has a decent amount of savings left. But I want to discover her personality first so I can kind of see what job we think she would go for. Oh, she's done eating her breakfast. So we're going to have our coffee now. Oh no, let's have a hot cocoa. Let's have a hot cocoa with marshmallows. She definitely likes to do cute little things like that. Oh, I didn't give her wintry pajamas, so she's really cold. Okay, it's alright. We're gonna get her to shower soon anyways and shave her legs. And we'll get her changed into a winter outfit, so hopefully she'll feel a bit better. But let's have you drink your coffee, girl. And I don't know why your fan is on in the winter. Let's turn that off. And let's read a book right now. Who's walking outside? Wait... 
for this, I don't know, Samuel Adler. But you know what? She's in her pajamas. She's having her morning coffee. She's not going to go outside and talk to her neighbor right now. Let's read something while we drink her coffee. Oh, I guess we didn't make an excellent quality um, eggs and toast because we didn't get to take off that whim. Also, I need to figure out why she says her surroundings are filthy because, girl, what do you mean? We just, we just moved in here. We literally just furnished this place. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, okay, so she's reading on her stool by the vanity. I don't know why you're not reading on the couch, but okay. I gotta give her like a cute reading corner. Oh, you don't really have the space. That's all right, her couch is her reading corner. This house is all hers anyway, so that's fine. It's 11.25 a.m. Hey, time isn't moving as fast as I thought it would. I usually use, or I recently started using the MC Command Center option to slow down your gameplay speed, but for some reason, in this save file, the time just doesn't feel that fast. Maybe it just feels fast in my other Let's Plays because I already have so many, like, because I always have so many events to, you know, play out and things like that. Okay, read the first unicorn. What? I don't know what kind of book that is, but we're gonna shower. Let's shave our legs. Why'd you leave the book on the table, girl? You were literally right next to the bookshelf. Okay, so she's gonna shower now, and then well, let's go out and hit the town. Maybe we'll, like, go to the gym. Ooh, okay, yeah. I just feel like she's another type A sim. She's very put together. As you can see, she's a perfectionist, and she's neat. Okay, she's changed in her outfit. You shouldn't be too cold anymore. Wait, let's look at her mood. Let's be we go on. Um, cutting it close from shaving. Oh no. Minty freshness, smooth sipping, and toasty from drinking hot cocoa. But yeah, now that she's kind of ready for the day, let's have her head off to the gym. But oh my gosh, it's snowing as well. Look how pretty it is. I love it, but it's so gloomy. It's so gloomy. But look at this gym. It's like very industrial looking. Look at the town. Look at how the town looks, guys. I don't know, it's just so pretty and cozy. Oh my gosh, she's gonna die. I'm, I'm getting too distracted. I'm getting too distracted. Let's go inside. Let's go inside. She's literally gonna die. She's freezing to death. Oh my goodness, run girl, run. Oh my gosh, guys, this gym is so cool. This is such a cool gym. It looks like, you know, like a trendy spot in Windbrook. Like, I feel like the gym membership for this would be expensive. I do wish I had the UI Cheats extension because I wish we could kind of like subtract money every time we visit the gym because I feel like this kind of gym would be pricey. Let's change our outfits. Let's change our outfits into our workout outfit. Oh my gosh, the blue lighting and the black. Oh wow. What should we start with? Is there like a yoga mat for us to warm up or something? Oh, let's start with a warm up with a treadmill. Let's go over here, go for a run or jog or something. Wow, everyone's just having a chat here. Who's this? Fan. Fred Federico Ragsdale. Fan of who? Let's talk to him. He looks cute. Kevin. And I, I think some of these people must be part of not feeling this song. She dislikes alternative music. Why is that so her? Okay, so far, that is just like, I just feel like that goes with the personality that I've, I've kind of given her. So yeah, let's say that she dislikes alternative music. Um, let's do a friendly, encourage Andrew to work out. He's working out. Yeah, some of these townies I'm sure are part of the Windbrook state. I'm not sure which ones are just like in the game or which ones are Windbrook or if they're all Windbrook counties. There's a kid in here though. Um, I think there's supposed to be like an ocean in the gym. Wait, so who's who's the famous guy? Is it- oh, it's this girl! Oh my gosh, there's a key mister here in Windbrook! What? Attempt introduction! Oh my gosh, guys, I just realized my dog is squeaking his toy in the background. I'm so sorry if you could hear anything like that. What's she thinking about? Guys, maybe, I don't know, maybe she's just like, maybe she's an actor, this b list of Melody Hall. And maybe she's in town to shoot a movie, like a Hallmark movie or something like that. Um, excuse me? Oh, okay, he's a gym trainer. He's probably watching our board, but he looks like he's just staring at her ass. Like, what are you doing, sir? Why are you just watching me run? That makes me uncomfortable. Oh god, she's tense from the music. Guys, I want to find someone already for her to be with and take off her whim. Oh, he just took a selfie in the toilet. Oh my gosh, guys, they're taking their gym selfies. They're taking their mirror selfies in the toilet. Wait, let's come down here. There's a girl 
There's a girl boxing? Yeah, there's a girl boxing. And she looks really good at what she does. So let's talk to her and be like, hey, like, I'm gonna start boxing. Give me any tips. Guys, look how athletic she looks. Who's this? This is Lenza Agrawal. I'm not sure if I pronounced that completely wrong, but let's talk to her. Maybe we can make a friend. Oh my gosh, he's just watching her. He's like, damn, that form was good. And then he walked off. Oh, she seems friendly. Vent. She's like, I really don't like the music here. Like, maybe someone should make a complaint, you know? Not everyone has the same music taste. She's like, oh my gosh, girl, you should, you should just say something then. It shouldn't make you that angry. Take it out on this boxing guy right here. Sentiment gain. You make my day so much better. Thanks for making me smile. That's cute. Okay, practice punching since she's tense. Needs amusement from low fun. Oh, okay. Wait, let's open up our sim profile with her. Oh, she got a sentiment. Feeling closer from happy memories. That is so sweet. Embrace the change that she's active? Yes, let's do that. I feel like she definitely is. Okay, guys, we've already gained our next personality trait. We're already getting to know our girl a little bit better. Hey, this gym trainer is really just on us. Oh, he's... Oh. He's like, girl, you're gonna injure yourself punching like that. You gotta have proper form. He's like, yep, yep, you got it, you got it. Oh my gosh, guys, I love this Let's Play so much already. Why am I loving this so much? I'm vibing with this vanilla gameplay. Friendly introduction. It's so fun already. I don't know why I'm having so much fun with this. It's just so different for me. Um, she needs to have some fun. Oh, girl, she's really tense. Okay, what do I do? What do I do? Like, do I- Oh, let's do something funny. Let's do something funny. Maybe she'll have fun from that. What do you need to do to have fun? Like, play a game on your phone? Okay, let's do some funny interactions. Stories. Tell a funny story. Is flirting fun? Maybe flirting will be fun for her. Let's flirt with the gym trainer. I mean, he was checking us out before. She's like, I saw you looking at me before. But she's not gonna say that. Okay, she doesn't want to come off as cocky. He's like, girl, I'm just doing my job. Fire up. Maybe from talking to him, like, we'll gain more fun discuss expanding the family hello romance flirt pickup line i forgot to see how he reacted i literally missed how he reacted to her flirting oh okay he ain't interested he is not interested he's like girl i don't know what you thought i was doing i was just doing my job and making sure you don't injure yourself one of my favorite festivals in town let's go down to the spice festival and see what they have to sample wait what when did we talk to this guy i saw him standing behind the treadmill but when did we talk to him? And now he's inviting us. He's like, oh, you're new in town? Sure, like, why don't you come along with us? Like, I'll introduce you to a few of my friends. Okay, let's do that. Bring some friends along. Let's bring the people we just met. Um, Linda and Andrew and Federico. We won't invite Clive because she feels a little awkward with him because she flirted with him and he didn't like that. So let's go with the friends that we met at the gym. So maybe, oh, it's the Spice Festival. So maybe they're like, Oh, wait, we're going to be in San Mishuna. It's not going to be part of the Winbrook save file and it's not going to be done up. It's going to be so empty. All right, we'll see what it looks like. But they invited us to the Spice Festival. Maybe they were like, um, all right, we had a good gym sesh. Let's get something good to eat. Let's go into the city today. You should come along. Ew, it's so empty. It's so empty. Guys, the save file is like literally empty in every other world. So that is why it's like that. But we're going to be in the Spice Festival anyway. Ooh, who's this? Quentin Bruno. Let's... Oh, let's just watch the performance. She's still feeling tense, hopefully... Okay, she has to gain some fun from this. Having a bad time. Sims who are exposed to things they dislike for extended periods of time will slowly be driven mad. Try surrounding them with things they prefer instead. I'm sorry, girl. Awkward encounter from flirting with that guy. Savory aromas from being at the Spice Festival, and she's still desperate for fun. Are you gonna get some fun from this? No? Oh my gosh. She's really low. Can they die from like lack of fun? What do I need to do? Let me just- Okay, let me play a game on her phone real quick. Oh my God, I'm so bored. And I literally can't even treat her needs either. I feel like that doesn't make sense because I feel like she's at the Spice Festival. She's gotta be having some fun. Wait, where are the people that we invited? Where's like the group mark? Like where's all the people we were where's the person who invited me here let's get a drink order a drink order oh wait let's order drinks for the group so then they can all come here 
quarter drink. Oh, am I pressing the wrong thing? Oh, wait, are we not part of a group? Are they not here? No way. Guys. No way. They're not here. Our friends who invited us ditched us. <gasps> no. That is so mean. I don't think Lenza would have done that to us. Let's just in let's just order a drink from a, for a random guy then. That's so sad. Oh, let's order a drink for the um for the performer. What? Wait, let me check that. They're literally not here. This is the guy who invited us and he's not even here. Cause I know we like populated over here and then they just left me. They're like, haha, we invited you now, let's ditch her. She's not off to a good start, guys. Where's the toilet at? We need to use the toilet. Did she even order the drink for the guy? I don't think she even did. I'm so sad. Can we invite Lenzo here? Let's invite her here and see if she comes over. Okay, go to the toilet, girly. She would have changed. She probably showered and changed into her, like, outfit at the gym. That's why she's in her winter outfit now. Okay. What? Why can't you call your friend? Hello? Invite. Okay. She's gonna call Lenza. She's gonna be like, Hey, um, where'd you guys go? I thought we were gonna hang out at the Spice Fest, but I can't find anyone. Maybe Lenza's gonna be like, Oh, yeah, they, they, went, out, they went somewhere else, but... Um, I'll come over with you, girl. Like, I just, I don't think it was right that they ditched you like that. So, I'll come over. So, hopefully, if she can come over and we can eat dinner together. And hopefully, we can still make a new friend. And hopefully, she didn't mean to ditch us. Sample food. She's like, oh, I'm so awkward. Like, I can't believe I was invited here. And then I was just left here in the city that I've never been in. Feel better after eating that, girl. Fun is still so low. What do I need to do? I hate the fun need thing. Like, I just feel like it's the hardest to fill up. Like, you don't even get it from interacting with other people, do you? Like, surely you would have gotten that from, like, doing funny interactions with people, but she didn't. Where's Lanza at? I. Did someone vomit? I swear I heard something. Wait, what's wrong with this guy? Oh my gosh. Maybe she should be like, hey, are you okay? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What, what is happening? Why does he keep vomiting? No way. He's doing it again. He's doing it again. Oh. Something. I am literally gobsmacked. He just vomited like five times. That man is messed up. He's like so, like, so sloshed. Maybe we shouldn't talk to him. Damn, I don't know what this guy's on. Like, I can't believe I just watched him vomit like four or five times in a row. And also, Lenza didn't show up. Guy. Oh wait, no, she did. She did. She showed. She showed up. Um, let's call her over. Maria acquired the mischief skill. Oh my gosh, I wasn't expecting that. Oh guys, look at her outfit. It's so cute. Okay, let's talk to her. And tell a dramatic story. Let's be like, I just saw this guy. She was. Oh wait, he's sitting right next to us. Maybe she shouldn't say that. She's gonna be like, oh, you know, like I showed up with you guys and you all just left me. Like I was so, like I don't know. I'm just so lost. Like why do you guys invite me here and leave me? And Lenza's just gonna be like, oh, you know, you know what, don't worry about them. Like, let's just have a good time with ourselves. Don't worry about them. Because I feel like Lenza's a nice girl. We had a good interaction with her. A lot of social bunny worthy things happened to Maria today. Okay, let's make a post. I never use this. Let's add to our contact list. Let's add Lenza. And is there anyone else we can add? Um, who else can we add? Let's add Clive, our dream trainer, even though we had an awkward encounter. We have, like, a decent friendship with him, so let's do that. Let's make a- oh, wait. Post something, tag someone, send a message. Yeah, let's post something. Oh, let's tag someone. Tag a sim. Let's tag Linza and do, like, friendly. Just be like, oh, you know, 
Okay, Lens has killer style every day is such a look. Okay, whatever. But maybe she's saying, oh, you know, went out to the Spice Festival with Lens, a nice friend that I just met, whatever. Talk about the freezing temperature. Oh my gosh, guys, she's feeling free. She's, um, who are you flirting with? Oh my gosh, she's flirting with this girl. Maybe we could, like, wing woman her or something. I don't know, let's just tell a joke. Her. But guys, it looks like Linza has a thing for this girl over here, Alba. Let's introduce herself. Oh, we we know Alba. Oh, I wish we were good enough friends to like hook them up or something. Guys, maybe this can be your new friends. Oh my gosh. I'm so f Oh my gosh. Why are these sims vomiting like multiple times in a row? Is it the spicy food? Is it like- is it like food poisoning? I'm gonna eat it anyway. Grab a serving together, let's get the mapa tofu together. So let's get some grub to eat after that gym session. I saw you working hard in that boxing bag. Oh, we're just gonna sit on separate tables. Okay. Vance Curly. Oh my gosh, this guy is still vomiting, I can't. What is with my sims? What are with these sims? These aren't my sims. What are with these sims? It looks like Maria is not used to eating spicy food, like mapa tofu with pork. With time and practice, she will be able to eat the spiciest foods around, like some kind of spice now. Mm, okay. Thought she would have had a little bit of chili in her. Like, what is all this sound? Is someone vomiting again? I just thought she would have had a better spice tolerance. I feel like she low-key does, but I don't know. Maybe she hasn't had spicy food in a while. Let's try this. Grab a serving together. Let's just eat till we're stuffed. I feel like she would be having fun at the Spice Festival. Congratulations. Who is eating like a glutton? I missed it again. Someone's eating like a glutton. Someone's eating like a glutton. They probably have the glutton trait. That's what that sound is. Okay, anyway, it says here, Congratulations, Maria has taken her first steps on her culinary journey through the city. Eating food from the city unlocks the ability to cook it. There are 26 more recipes to learn. Get out and try more food. Maria's learned how to make tagine. So far, Maria has discovered two of the 27 recipes available in the city. Amazing. What a culinary journey that she's embarked on. Let's talk to Alba a bit more. I want to become flirt. No, we're not gonna do that. I want to become good friends with them so that I can hook them up with each other. Oh my gosh, what? She's flirting with her, I think. It looks like she's flirting with her, or is she still flirting with her? Oh my gosh. Oh my. Is she a werewolf? What was that? Wait, is wait, is she a werewolf or something? Or is she a vampire? No way. She's not a vampire, is she? Can you tell in the sim profile? Because what was that? Oh, she's a werewolf. She's a werewolf. Did I just completely miss like is this veteran thing something else? Like, is that the veteran career? But isn't that veterinarian? She's flirty. Girl, the first friend you met is a werewolf. She's definitely a werewolf. Let's give her a hug and just be like, oh well, thanks for thanks for spending time with me. Um, oh, disable furry effect. Okay, there it is. She's a werewolf. Okay. Wait, disable furry effect. That means she's a werewolf, right? Sorry, I don't play with werewolves enough to know. Anyway, let's say bye to her. Um, yeah, let's say bye. Let's disband the group and can you say bye? Okay, yeah, goodbye. The festival is going to end soon anyways. Wait, let's get some merch while we're here. Yeah, let's buy a festival t-shirt to commemorate. Buy a festival t-shirt. Maybe we should have bought and worn it. Let's toss a coin in and then we'll go home. Make a wish to make some new friends that don't stand you up again. She is pooped. What a what an eventful day we just had. We got stood up by some friends. We befriended a werewolf and we went to the spice festival and ate some new food, learned some new recipes, bought a festival t-shirt. 
I think that was a pretty good first day for Maria Chavez and I'm really excited to see where her story takes her. All right, we are now home. Our energy is really low. Our hygiene is getting there and our fun is so low. So I think what I'm gonna have her do is I'm gonna have her take a bubble bath. No, let's take a bath with soaks. Let's do milk, honey, and oatmeal. That sounds cozy. And look guys, it's snowing. Let's look at the neighborhood when it's snowing, hold on. And like, even at night is a vibe. Like, look at that. That is so beautiful. I actually love this save file already, and I haven't even fully explored it. And playing in winter is really just so underrated. Like, I never- I don't play in winter that much except for, like, Winterfest, and then I, like, move on to the next season, but I'm really enjoying the slow- I'm really enjoying the snow, and because I don't have any, like, mods or CC in my game right now, my game is just really fast. Like, look at this. It's so fast and the snow is not making anything lag so overall this has been a really fun experience for me so far i'm definitely excited to keep playing too many sims from fear of crowded places i do you guys just see that she had a moodlet and she has a fear of oh my goodness a fear of crowded places really but i feel like you're the type that wants to be in a crowd like you literally want to be a friend of the world um I don't know i just that gives me the vibe that you would love crowds and that you're like an extrovert but this doesn't look very extroverty of you so i don't know hopefully we can get rid of that i don't really like the monster fear system i like whims but i hate the fears let's have some fun hopefully she doesn't fall asleep let's just do some like late night gaming maybe she likes to play the sims too so let's do that play sims forever also why aren't you in your pajamas girl i should have changed you into your pajamas but yeah, let me know what you guys are thinking so far of this vanilla gameplay. I know it's very random. It's especially very random for my channel. It's way different to like the aesthetic and the look of my other save files. But this is so... it's actually so nice. It's better than I thought it would be. And I will say though that I have most... like I think I have almost every expansion pack if not every expansion pack. Um, and I have a lot of kits and stuff like that. So it does make it a bit easier, I will say, like to do this because I have a lot of, in terms of like furnishing and dressing up your sim, it makes it a lot easier because I do have a lot of the content that's already out. Okay, we need to get some sleep. I gotta get her some pajamas that are actually suitable for winter. Maybe she's like me, even though it's too cold. She always wears pajamas. Yeah, she is like me. She always wears pajamas that just aren't really warm enough for the winter just because it just feels way too stuffy to sleep with so many layers on and like there's just nothing better than wearing shorts to bed. Let's turn the lights off in here. Turn off the lights. Let's turn off all lights. Turn on this at least, maybe. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, thank goodness her room isn't looking as like yellowy as it was before. So I'm going to end the episode off here. It is editing Carly popping in by the way. So if the audio sounds a little different, it's because I'm using a different mic. I also wanted to apologize if the game audio was too loud during the Spice Festival. I was listening back and I realized I just sound like I'm mumbling the whole time because yeah, I didn't realize how loud that game audio was, but apologies for that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this completely different gameplay for me and something very new to my channel. If you did, let me know in the comments below if vanilla gameplay isn't your cup of tea. I definitely have other Let's Plays to check out if you would prefer to see some more mod and CC use because I love to do that as well. But this was something nice and different for me. It was just a personal save file I wanted to create where I could just turn off mods and just jump into the game and see how I can enjoy it for what it is but this is going to be a current household so i'm not sure how frequently i'll be posting videos of it but if you would like to keep seeing it definitely let me know otherwise i hope you enjoy the rest of your day your night or your week and i'll see you in the next one bye